Your Lord's Conspiracy Carl here. <laughs> Sorry about the rough as fuck look. Um, excuse the language as well. Uh, I really don't feel well, you know. I've, I've got, um, oh, if you can see it, I've got some part of my chin and I feel all run down. And my hair's all long and I just, I just can't get on with it. Now, this morning I woke up and I felt pretty rough, you know. Um, probably, <coughs> probably that didn't help. Anyway. <sighs> Yeah, I know about the, the alcohol, and I know about the alcohol, I know about what it does, and, um, you know, I, I don't drink very often, and I, I had a little bit of celebration with a friend, and that was it, basically, it's not like a, a daily thing, or a monthly thing, or a weekly thing, or and anything like that, probably a yearly thing, um, not even that sometimes. Anyway, I just wanted to show my face and show you that I'm still alive. It's the 23rd, sorry, of January, and it is a wonky donkey 14.30 in the afternoon GMT time UK. Um, we had a bit of snow yesterday, uh, blue skies today, but a fifth, fifth, thin freezing, <laughs> if you get my drift, yeah? It's cold, it's very cold outside, so I've got me eating on this side, but... You know, we're apparently during Arctic winter, so I'm looking forward to this because I've got myself in lots of preparation for this. I've got myself some moon boots, some vintage ones from the 80s. Um, I've got lots of stuff to keep me warm, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this winter. Nothing's going to get me down, nothing's going to bring me you. I don't know how the rest of the song goes, and I can really give a toss because it's probably backmasked into some sort of thing called Satan and Lucifer and how they love it. And so I'm never going to sing it. But you know what song I'm on about. I'm never going to give you up. Um, I can't remember the vocalists, but I'm sure one of you subscribers out there would know. And also, yeah, I'll just say you see my eyes. I just want to thank each and every single one of my 200, 223 subscribers. Thank you, every single one of you. This means so much. You, you really don't know how much this means. It wasn't that many. It was about a year ago, and I was saying about the 30-odd subscribers I had, and I, and I was really, really happy with that. So, you know, to have more and to have... Oh, you like 200 I've, I've got to get this book I need to read it out or I need to pay somebody to read it out I'm going to do something I'm going to get somebody to help me somewhere along the line so you get this book alright I, I promised you for so long um, my only worry is like I say I had a few people come to stay at my house and I just hope that they haven't um, took the book for walkies just to say um uh, there's a few places I've got to search, so I'm not blaming anyone yet. I, I need to, to search the premises first, and then once I've done that, then I can go from there. But let's hope that the book's here. Um, I pray that the book's here, because I, I promised you all it. So, okay, we can um, get somebody to read it, and I can sort of stop at points and show you what I mean. Uh, it is all done astrologically, but I still don't believe in a global Earth with all of our planets and suns and everything all spinning around really fast, millions of miles an hour, shooting through the galaxies. How comes, if that's the case, we don't get closer to stars or closer to stars don't come closer to us or objects that are further away that we've seen through telescopes? How comes they're not getting closer after all these years? Because we don't live on a spinning fucking ball. We live on a flat plane and it's got like thermonty covers that go over. This is what half are shooting the microwaves up because they know it's a thermonty. They know that there's something there to protect it. So what they do is they shoot these billion billion watt microwaves up at the, the ionosphere, the thermonty. The thermonty then bends up and then squashes down and shoots whatever weather or storm or whatever they want through it caused through vibrations of course um they can cause a tsunami for a different vibration to an earthquake to a volcano they can they can make all things happen um through different vibrations so that's what they're doing so if anybody a lot of people are out near harp 
um, you know, where it actually is, then please smash it to pieces. And uh, the people in there um, hang, drum and quarter them because they're just killing everybody. So they're mass murderers, so that might as well hippie Hitler and Goebbels and, and our queen and the lizard, you know, lizard Elizabeth and um, pophead Philip, fucking, you know, uh, yeah. All the baddies, all the baddies, the Bushes, the Clintons, all, all, the whole lot of them, the whole lot of them, right? They all need to go there. Anyway, love, peace, can, <laughs> love, peace, unity, so I'm not thinking. Love, peace, unity, um, for everybody. Uh, I, I just want everybody to unite. What is, why, why can't people see this? Why? It hurts, it really does hurt to think that blacks need to fight whites, that browns need to fight blacks, that whites need to fight browns and blacks. It's pathetic, because if you stripped, stripped us of our skin, we're all the same. The only thing that black people have got, different to us, is more pigments and more colours in their skin. And brown people have got more colours and pigments in their skin. We, white people, have got nada, hence we're white. So if that makes us different, that makes us the lower ones. Forget the money, forget all the power, forget all that shit. Just think about what I just said, all right? If that seriously, yeah, if that seriously makes us more powerful or or more upper class or um, you know, one better than everybody else, then we are living in a sad, sad world. And these the council of 300 needs to be removed, the 13 on top of them, and the 13 on top of that. Yeah, yeah, right at the very top of the pyramid, okay? So the 300, the council of 300, the committee of 13, and there's another 13 above that, all right? They all need removing the 13 families that I was going on about. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid as I tell. I'm not stupid as I look. I know every single one of their names. Anyway, I can't spit that out because that would get me um, bumped off pretty quick. Anyway, I'm sticking with you. Um, I just wanted to show you that I'm still alive. Um, I'm not a great person at Christmas. I try and lock myself away. I sort of have a bit of depression at Christmas. Um, but this Christmas was good. This Christmas was um, very nice, very nice. I actually got to spend some time with my daughter, which was great. And um, we made up on some time. Uh, and my granddaughter, which is even, even better. She can't say granddad, bless her, so she calls me, well, it sounds like ball bag. <laughs> but it's, it's gag gag or ghoul gag or it's something very similar. But she's trying to say granddad, bless her, and now she can actually say granddad or near enough is quagag. But, you know, she's getting there. And hey ho, she's, she's won on the 30th of this month. Um, can't wait to say she's amazing she really is a good great child and she sees me and she recognizes me each time so it's brilliant anyway thank you for my subscribers each and every single one of you are so special to me you really do mean so much thank you every single one of you um please give me a like um even a dislike if you dislike whatever i, I don't care but you know likes are always better makes you feel good you know, and, um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I'm out, love, peace, unity, conspiracy, Carl, the truth is truly in your soul, love you all, goodbye.